It's been more than a week since the revelry of Carnival wrapped up, but the issues raised during the annual festival continue to stir controversy. In Trinidad, lawmakers and others are debating about the issue of consent. Carnival has been described as a euphoric experience. The freedom displayed with dancing and fancy costumes can read as exotic or sexy to foreign eyes, but it's considered the norm in Trinidad. But perhaps that is changing because this year, local police reminded masqueraders and partiers that whining without consent can get you in trouble. Whining is a dance. The choreographer, Sonia Dumas, describes it as either a rotation, a gyration, or an oscillation of the pelvic region, usually done in rhythmic style to music in a festive or recreational environment. The carnival-themed conversation about consent was perfectly encapsulated by Mandisa Grandison, who has this to say about the challenges facing women who want to whine either with or without company at her choosing. These men propose to tell me that if, as a woman or any woman, who was on Uran Carnival, if she ever come out to whine with man, she is to stay home. Now, problematic at best, right? I was like, and I tried all kinds of logic, all kinds of reasoning, and these dudes were like, no, it's carnival, that the culture, you had to come out and what man wants to ting, 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 and I was like, so you're saying that it's carnival, and therefore my bottom for those two days becomes, what, public property for public consumption? In recent years, Trinidad's carnival has become the launching pad for a very Caribbean discussion of sexuality and gender relations. The answers have not been easy to come by, and the conversation is continuing. Now to help us discuss the issues of consent in Carnival and the role of women in the festival, we're being joined by Soka Star and multiple Road March winner, Fayan Lyons Alvarez. Hello, Fayan. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> so the Me Too movement was really big in the United States, and then this year for Carnival, the police reminded people that you needed consent before you can whine on someone. Do you think that Trinidad is jumping on an American bandwagon, or did we need to talk about consent in our carnival and before whining? Um, I think we needed to talk about consent and respect overall. Uh, bandwagon or no bandwagon, at the end of the day, respect for women is something that should be um, adhered to worldwide. I know we have a lot of people saying, you know, it's carnival, it's the festivities, it's, it's the norm, but... We have to be uh, mindful that not every woman that steps out in the street is going to enjoy the carnival or wants to participate in the carnival like every other woman. So some women might be fine with random men dancing on them and, and, and continuing with it. No, but you'll find that there are women that are naturally coming out to just enjoy the sights, watch the masqueraders, and have a good time without having to be bothered by men grouping on them and touching them. And you have a very strong personality. I've noticed you stay wear, wear the hashtag. As a woman in Soka, how free are you to be who you are, to own your sound, your look, your sexuality? Or do you feel that we, the audience, or even the industry, limits your freedom of expression? Well, that is part of the Stay Weird um, campaign that I'm on. For me, I've, I've been through the pressures of trying to fit in a box that society, people, fans, your family, friends, think that you should fit in because you're a woman, because you're an artist, because it's never been done, because you're supposed to look a particular way, because you are a particular type of artist. And for me, I've always resisted all those um, stereotypes. For me, it's about finding you are living in your truth, standing in, you, you know, standing in your own presence and not having to, to try to fit into whose presence you're in on any particular day. Because you, you'll be in front of somebody on Monday and they want you to be a particular way. Tuesday, you'll meet somebody else. They don't like the way you were Monday. You need to change for the people that you're in front of Tuesday. It doesn't make sense. Then you That's how you have people depressed and upset and, and, and just being recluse from society. So for me, it's always been figure out who you are, show the world that person. And whoever loves you for that, genuine people love it. Thank you so much, Fian Lyons. Um, we've been talking to Fian Lyons Alvarez, major soccer star and multiple road march and soca monarch winner about gender and sexuality and the culture that we have in the Caribbean carnival. Thank you so much, Fian, for joining us.